Hey everybody, welcome back. Seems like a fun weekly so far. Listen, I respect you. I respect you. I don't really respect you. I'm gonna. I'm sorry to the mouse, but we can do something with it. Let me be. A, let me be a gnarly musician. Maybe like um like a Steve Vai type, like uh like whoever that guy is who sang Cliffs of Dover. You know what I'm talking about? The I guess he doesn't really sing it. He plays it on guitar. People do not believe this story. And I, I don't want to say that I can't blame them. <laughs> but I swear to you, Guitar Hero 3 comes out, okay? I'm in my second year of university. Buy Guitar Hero 3. I'm playing it. We finally make it to the nightmare songs on expert difficulty. Don't don't prejudge me here and assume this is on medium or something, something brainless. Cliffs of Dover, play it for the first time. Gold stars. I swear to you, I'm not the best guitar hero player of all time, but I did sight read gold star. Cliffs of Dover. I swear to you, it's true. I, I was just, I was on one that day. Many people disbelieve that. I think that's because when Guitar Hero 3 came out, most of them were like nine. I was 19 and had a lot of uh, disposable time, quite frankly. Um, but then when Rock Band came out like a month later and I I got on the drum kit, I mean, that just, uh, it, it changed my life. Top 10 moments that changed my life. It altered the course of my, my career and perhaps even my existence on planet Earth. Now, what am I doing here? It's, it's a worthwhile question. It's a good question. I am going to check this out. I'm going to put you up front. No, I'm going to put you... Okay, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to buff our kangaroo because it's the only unit I have confidence is going to stick around. I'm going to bet that we're not going to get a level 2 otter next time. So I'm just going to buy and sell. I'm going to pay 5 gold for a unit and 2 salads. Which actually, when you put it that way, doesn't sound that bad. I think we definitely lost, but it was like a hard-fought loss against Mildish Gambino, which is a good name. You, it, it doesn't hurt to lose to the best. Now, we need... If this is gonna pop, and it may not, <laughs> we need something... I think we should send it like this. Um, we need something that can make our kangaroo basically two or three for one. And the, the only option that's realistic there is, is the drama, for now at least, is the dromedary getting like some HP. Oh my god, it worked out. It, it kind of worked out. And then the left and right units are going to be like pretty buff because of the double dromedary strat. Now unfortunately we don't care for them. But still, I almost feel like the dub broccolis here, like it's, it's bad until it's good, if that makes sense. And I'm actually going to give you the garlic for now. Like a 113 dromedary, you don't get out of bed for that. But if it makes our kangaroo into like a freaking, I don't know, it's actually not going to be as good as I thought it would be here. But if it makes our kangaroo into like, a, you know, a, a 910 or something like that, then it's probably worth making one of the dromedaries temporarily useless and they'll get more useful on combination later. If we're sticking with the fish this long, we might as well keep sticking, man. And I know, like, at some point, I mean, not for, not forever, but at least to see if we get a level two. I'm, I'm just hoping that at some point we manage to, to piece this one together. I, it didn't quite give me a, a, what I needed there, unfortunately. Um, we, we need one more dromedary to make our dromedary less useless. And we need one more fish, and then we need a good unit. And that's basically... I mean, if that happens, we're sitting pretty. I'd freeze a penguin for now. I would take the chance. Why don't you take some garlic? It's getting increasingly hard for me to justify the existence of a 122 dromedary when we're one away from lethal. But again, if it makes our kangaroo three or four for one, then it's like, oh, this is a problem. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. You, that bus got to attack me five times, man. Did 25 free damage to my kangaroo. Okay, I mean, you have to be combined now. And just, I'm adding you just because you're a 6'8". I'm just hoping we'll get you there. Polar bear. I don't, I don't see that. I don't see that happening. Okay, please let me live. Like, 
two wins right now is probably more than we deserve, but now our dromedary is like no joke, like seven times stronger. This is almost the exact same run. And, and watch how differently it pans out as a result of just having some attack. It's like you couldn't have asked for like a better A-B test than this. Okay, like I'm not saying we're going to get to 10, but we might be able to rise out. We're, we're probably out of idiocy and into merely like mediocre territory now. I would absolutely sell the ants and run a tiger behind the level two kangaroo. And then honestly, like while we're here, why don't we just buff the heck out of this penguin? Like, let me let me look at this for a second. Four, one, six, three, two. I would, it makes my fish so much, or it makes my penguin worse to sell the fish, but it makes my poodle really good. I don't know. I think there's something to this. I think if you think about it logically, knowing we're likely to get to another level two unit at some point and not selling the penguin because it has a croissant and a cucumber on it simultaneously, yeah, I think there's, I think there's a certain sense and or sensibility associated with this. Now, I'm not, what this is counting your chickens before they even are laid, not even a, talking about hatching, but we, if we get to 10, this would be one of the miracle stories of Super Auto Pets, I think. But we got a long way to go before we should concern ourselves so much with that. And because we're on lethal, our, our, we don't necessarily have our long term in mind when we're thinking about purchasing decisions, which leads us to do things like buying a salad. Um, probably unlikely to make an, an enormous difference in the whole scheme of things. And yet, here we are doing it, and we're still alive. This is a triumph. GLaDOS was right. Keep calm and play Portal. My favorite t-shirt. I wear it outside just about every day. Freeze me, freeze me, and let's talk. This would get an extra 1-1 one, one per turn, but I think the lemon is, is more likely to be immediately useful. But now, okay, um, what a feeling. I can't have it all now. I'm dancing for my life. Are you seeing this? Oh no, you're too strong. I was so excited. I was so briefly excited, but you just, you outscaled me. That was five wins, but I, I really thought once we got the engine going there, I thought we'd go a little further. But you know what? Life goes on. I would add you. And then you're like a, a very decent buy sell in my world. You'd be a dis, dis sorry, I saw a disgruntled bull and then immediately saw disgruntled disgruntled balls right after it. And I just thought of like I was like an angry bull entered my brain, and then the face of the bull was replaced with uh, well, you could probably guess. And uh well, that was a very good ant. Let's just say that. Now, I'll buy ya, I'll buy ya, I'll roll ya, I'll sell ya, I'll buy ya. I think I've duplicated you. I did a Diablo dupe glitch there. I'm going to buff you. And now I'm looking at the squad and I'm, I'm looking and you already know what I'm about to say. I'm liking. I don't think we need the extra juice from the mouse sale on this on this one. I think we're, we're happy where we stand. And we are indeed very happy where we stand. Okay, level up this ladybug, please. Or the moth. I was just going to say I would accept a, a cool moth level up, too. Dolphin seems like a great purchase right now. Would absolutely sell you. And then you know what? I'm just going to buff our dolphin just because I, I think it might actually be the best unit here. And I'm going to move you just up to here. Not interested. At some point, I do need to get... Um, well, you know what? We should do like double croissant next round. At some point, I need to get like a toucan level 3 10 win. It, it, that one is, uh, is burning a hole in my achievement list. I really, I'm not an achievement hunter. I just, uh, I just play the game. But that one feels like it's very gettable. And I'm, I'm feeling like we got some momentum here. So I'm, if you guys are going to stick around... Why don't you take the time to at least get some stat buffs? Hopefully to get a level next time. Not looking so likely necessarily, but just realize, by the way, Dolphin Croissant is not necessarily a, a great play. We'd be more likely to enjoy a pineapple there, and they are unfortunately like cannibalistic, but not dolphins, just like, um, you know, the two food items can't coexist at the same time. They're, they're very upset at one another. I think 
I still think, like, just focus some buffs on this dolphin. Continues to kind of, like, justify its own existence here. I would level and add a turtle to the team. I hate to do it. I am going to sell a dromedary and add a turtle. And the, the capybara is kind of interesting to me, too, but... I feel like on round five, the stats on this team are kind of good. I have no idea what we're going to do long term with our... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. We draw. We draw. Holy cow. I have no idea what I'm going to do long term with this squad. But like... Short term, I don't necessarily mind it too much. I'm going to keep buffing you. Like Ario Speedwagon said, I'm going to keep on buffing you. Everybody has a croissant. Nobody has any defense at all, except for the broccolis I've fed them. Um, that's, I, that's I'm a little pessimistic about, but I don't know. Like, our HP is actually pretty good. If we could get, like, some scalers or something, who, know, who knows what the world might have in store for us. That's four wins. We're on nine HP. For me, it feels like we have to, like, put some respect on the chicken. It's just a very respectable unit. I also do kind of feel like we have to put some respect on the penguin, which is highly unfortunate because I thought the turtle was doing good stuff for me, but it's really the only way this, this really works out. And I guess I'll, I'll can up, and I'm, I'm not thrilled to be doing so, to be honest with you, but I, you know, you pass on a scaler, you're gonna howl like a whaler. Like, like the way that the Hartford Whalers fans howled when they lost their beloved NHL franchise to, to Carolina of all places. I'm just, I'm memeing. I didn't mean to make the whole Eastern Seaboard upset with me. Have you seen my team recently? Woof. Anyway. Okay, so I, ideally, I'd love for this level, this chicken to hit level two. Because a level two plus chicken starts to become one of the scariest units in the game to have to go up against. And for now, I'm, in, I'm enjoying what we got here. Am I really going to sell a dolphin to add a second? No, n not going to do it. I'm going to add you right here. We'll talk about a dolphin uh, getting to level two. But again, when the dolphin gets to level two, it makes it even less likely. And it's already not necessarily likely that um, our, the units we want to have the buff would actually get the buff. Okay, it's a well-constructed team. Now I will waste the rest of the week trying to construct the exact same team. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Well, who needs a penguin to hit level two? Or to get stats at all when you got a, you got a freaking carrot on you, bud? Now the, the rooster, it, it insists upon itself. You've killed my penguin. This Okay, we got a problem here. I think the game's broken. There's no other explanation for every team being better than mine. <laughs> no! Wait! Okay, we live. Like a couple of units on every team, sure. But every every part of every team being better than, than me? Sorry, right, because we have... Um, because we have a carrot in scaling, every draw is actually an enormous win for the squad. Because uh, every every draw is we get plus one, plus one stat point. And I don't want to tell you the price because it's free. I don't want you to be upset with me. Holy cow, this is a, a very, very strong looking uh, enemy squad here. Yep, yeah, it's stronger than mine. That's for sure. That is for sure. Level me. Now we got to set it up like like this, maybe. I really feel like maybe... I, I know it seems very strange to add a lemon to a dolphin that previously used to hold a, <laughs> a croissant, of all things. It's not typical. But I don't necessarily play games in, in the most typical way. And would you look at this? I'm not going to say, a, oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to say I told us so, but is that six? Okay. So not completely embarrassing. Everybody take some attack. Everybody get high. Everybody get low. These are the days when anything goes. And, and would you believe me if I told you we're going to try something like this now? And maybe, maybe a chicken at the back? 
He's ready to crack. His beak is as red as the sun. And the penguin in the corner is nobody's mourner, Jimmy. For things she thinks she's the passionate one. Okay, it's, it's, I'm, I'm taking hits left, right, and center here. And yet, and yet, there's seven. We didn't even have to rely on the chicken too much there. Penguin has leveled. Even though it's not always hitting the units I want it to hit, this is pretty solid. Now we're going to set it up like this. I know, again, it seems crazy. Seems like it doesn't make any sense. And yet here we are. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm not saying we got much going on here, but we might have something. It's another very strong team. Very, very I can't even tell you how disappointed I am that this uh, blowfish has a lemon. <laughs> that's, uh, that is just, that's bad business. Yep, fair enough. We didn't, we didn't have the gas there, and that's okay. I'll take my seven. I'll take, I'll take something modestly respectable. Now, we know what 2-3 is pretty good early this week because we keep losing to 2-3s. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. Um, maybe like a, a blatant muffin. Like you tried to tell me this is a cupcake. There's bran in it. You must think I was born yesterday. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. So here's what I'm thinking next. Um, you're going to do this. I really don't think we need the chinchillas to go much further than this. So rather than, I, I get that it looks like I'm doing this like a little backwards, but rather, I guess we do have buffalo this week, a bison. Rather than, um, rather than sell them all and then get one gold back from each of them, I thought it might be more sensible in order to use them for their level and then sell when we still have capacity on the squad. Which would then allow us to recover two gold out of it, but it's, still, it's actually not good. This is not a good level up here. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe Toucan Meat does something for us here, but I'm, I'm, I'm semi-pessimistic. Don't feel like I got a lot going on. I just heard the, just heard the door. If I'm being robbed, I just want you to know that it's worth it to stay here and play Super Auto Pets for you. I don't know how the video would then be uploaded unless you're watching this in the police evidence bay, but it's what it is, right? It's a bay. Not good with bodies of water. A level next time. Okay, it's still, I'm, I'm not disappointed. And you'll actually have five HP, which means you'll, we'll, we're even getting a, a, a little bit more of a stat boost than we would previously have thought likely. And we're winning around. I can't believe it. That's one win. They, they, they always say the first one's the hardest. There's a chance. Here's the thing. If I keep you frozen, you stay buffed. You get buffed. I'm going to give you one. No, I'm going to roll more because then to get the scaling early would help us out a great deal and i'm not even worried about the two cam man if i'm being honest with you i'm like just get, you're getting a two two buff for the consequence of keeping one piece of the shop frozen which is not that bad i think i think we are then going to lose badly to this uh to this marmoset from amy's baking company but that's okay as long as we, we're keeping our hp high enough just need a single chinchilla I'm going to go ahead and say you're gone, you're in, you're in, and I'm still rolling. I recognize that it keeping your shop, one thing in your shop frozen lowers your odds of finding a chinchilla, but we, again, we're getting the compensation in the form of the 2-2 buff. No, no, my squad. Okay, this would be a great time to see an early chinchilla. Just a quick one. I guess just a just a just a nice quick you know what I got it I basically have to live here remember the buffalo is still being buffed as is keeping with the namesake we could buy it now we don't need to buy it please tell me I'm right tell me we don't need to buy it you got 10 HP we draw 
I mean, the odds of us getting to 10 are looking increasingly unlikely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Then, come by me. I'm going to go a little pog crazy here. I'm actually going to sell the dolphin. No, I should sell the dromedary. Like, we, we don't have to sell the chinchilla if we got penguin and buffalo. It's just, it's, it's scaling. One 12, 12 is not really that good, but if we put some garlic on it and maybe some garlic on our chinchilla, I don't know. I just would love to know your thoughts on this. I feel like we got a chance. <laughs> we have, uh, turns out we have no chance. Okay, so be careful. You ever hear the story about the guy who got everything he wished for? He lived happily ever after with one win. That's sad. It's really tough to imagine a win here, but the level is nice. Let me be a, I'll be a boasty godfather. But my impression of a boasty godfather? And then I made him an offer he couldn't refuse! It is George Costanza. I was loving somebody in chat today said, imagine George Costanza using the Infinity Gauntlet to, uh, so he could beat traffic. You snap to beat traffic? Jerry, have you ever tried to get across town at rush hour? They're lucky I only snapped once, Jerry. I could have been snapping all day. Sorry about that. Um, what else you got? Um, sure, I'm going to say moth me like a prophecy. And uh, that would be Mothman me, sorry. Starring Richard Gere, Deborah Messing, I believe. Even if we, l and we are, but even if we lose this round, I'm not sweating it just because... I mean, look at this. Look at the pigs. If the game was decided by who had the most pigs, I mean, we would be extremely chilling right now. I think we'd, we want it to look like this. And it's... <laughs> It's a bit of a strange looking squad. I think we'll probably try to level up our ants early. And again, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going for scaling. I don't know if I'm going for buffalo. I don't know what I'm doing, but here I am. Many people would say I'm doing, I'm doing everything I can and holding on to what I have, pretending I'm a Superman. Looking for a bison, perhaps, or looking for dragonflies would work well with the kind of squad we got right now. Capybara? Not really that interested, but I, I'm, I'm like semi interested. I'm ho this is exactly why I'm I'm rolling the crap out of this, to be honest with you, because if we can get these levels early, it. Well, let me rephrase. It's easier to get a unit to level three early because there's less units in the pool. Now, if this is some kind of statistical mistake on my part, I'd like to apologize, but I don't think it is. So. I think we're very, very likely to get a level three ant, and the pig is fairly likely. But we shouldn't just tunnel vision on that. Like, let's let's have you continue to scale for the time being, just so we thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. And then a platypus, but in a way, it's kind of nice to get the platypus because it's a unit that we know we don't want. <laughs> so we don't have to like reconfigure the squad to make it work. Now we have no uh, HP. So to me, this feels like a great time to add like some sort of scaler to the team. It's pretty much guaranteed that that was how that was gonna go and that's fine. Um, okay, this is, this is wild. Why don't you level up? Definitely do feel like uh, a turtle makes some sense here. But I think maybe, let's go pineapple on you first, freeze the turtle. I don't really want the pig to hit level three anymore. It's, it's unnecessary. Like an apple accomplishes the same thing. Although I guess a level gets us closer to a, a tier upgrade in the shop, but still. Okay, okay, not sweating it. This could be drawable. They could be winnable actually, even better. I would prefer a win to a draw, as long as the winner is myself. And then I'm thinking, we can finally sell you, add a turtle, the ants should combine and give us a tier upgrade. One, one, three, four. Not ideal, but um, it is what it is. Sure. It's, it's not that bad. 
It's just like if we could choose a dragonfly instead, we would probably choose the dragonfly. But at least it's some form of scaling. We still have no defense. I would say overall, that's pretty not good. And yet, how not good could it be if we just won after buying it? It might be the most important thing you could possibly get in the entire game. A dragonfly. We have to sell the pig. Then we actually have like some pretty considerable buffing powers here. Don't really know. Okay, I don't, I don't think you can add a penguin to the squad as much as I might like. Everything is getting... Well, not everything's getting a buff. The turtle is sometimes not getting a buff. Like, the turtle or the dragonfly will sometimes not get a buff, right? Maybe I've got it a little backwards. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to just... I'm trying to keep the ground on my feet and keep the world from falling down around me. Like, are you familiar with this? It's not just a song. It's my life. So you're a four. One, three, four. Okay, so the dragonfly and the turtle cannibalize a little bit. And the dragonfly and the turtle cannibalize on level, but the dragonfly doesn't buff itself. So the turtle always gets one, one. Why don't you take an extra one, one? Yikes. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lean into scaling for a minute here. Why don't we have, why don't we use it like this? Somebody, like, just being genuine with you. I think you need a lemon on your team. In, in the Platinum League that I find myself playing in, thanks to skill-based matchmaking, you need a lemon on your team to, to have a chance. Now, you'd like to have more than a lemon on an 11. Don't even get me started on a lemon llama, and don't even get me started on when you have a melon llama, but you should have had a lemon llama. But I'm telling you, I think that it's, it's basically a prerequisite. Uh, we, we got time to get the ant to the level we needed to get to. We're on seven wins. That's quite nice. Dragonfly leveling would be quite nice. Nobody else really needs a carrot. You leveling would be quite nice. It would be nice. Thank you so much. Okay, we, we know we're going to live for one more round. We might only live for two, but we know we're going to at least live for one. So getting that level two poodle is actually, you know, now that we're in the go fish era is actually quite nice. Quite a, quite a scaling team you got here. You're scaling, I'm failing. We're not the same. It wasn't that bad, but I, I've come to embrace the fact that most squads seem to have like one good unit or two good units, and then the rest of the squad is just dedicated to scaling. Good to know. Dragonfly or turtle? Ooh, it's something. It's something. We got to set it up like this now, and now our ant is all the way back here like a fool. We got to set it up like that now. Even though the turtle's not at the front. It's the, it's the way it should be done. Please. If this ant two for ones. You're stealing my lemon? After everything we've been through? You stole my carrot too? My god. We've done it. Is that eight? Eight wins. Okay. My god, he's cracked. Level 2 Dragonfly. It's a beautiful thing. And we're, like I said, we're deep in the Go Fish era right now. What is the Go Fish era? It's when you just roll to find things you've already got. You're trying to make matches. You're trying to make pairs. Admittedly, now that our turtle is level 2, the Dragonfly is like 1-1 one, one per turn worse. But it's also like um, more than 1-1 one, one per turn better you know what i mean hold on we're about to beat we're about to we're about to lose hold on we're about to oh i thought we were about to beat a team that looked really good but then they were really good so they beat me hey thanks for watching either way still good runs we're getting there hope you've enjoyed it if you did click the like button helps it a great deal i'll see you next time see ya